Gyms. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another exciting episode of Job with the Gyms. My name is Jim Meyer, broker associate from Remax Gold. I would love to serve you as your realtor. I've got my good friend Jim Felipe from the Felipe Law Firm. He and or his team should be serving you when you have your next legal problem. Give him a call today. And Leanne Johnson out in Indiana, who is a great, great actress. She's a producer. She's a writer and she runs her own business. And we are thrilled to have her again. Thank you, Leanne. Uh, Jim, you did you have any so questions welcome. for me? Well, I'm just going to make it simple today, Meyer. Just tell us what's in that cup of coffee and be honest with us today. My coffee is in tune with the entertainment needs dreams and desires of the american people just like netflix okay um jim did you have a or leanne did you want to ask me a question i totally want to ask you a question that it's been burning in my mind okay go <laughs> it, that i thought of on my own <clears throat> here it goes from me when i hit it big in hollywood I think I'm going to invest millions in crypto instead of real estate. Is that a good idea? First of all, Leanne, you could actually be the president of the United States because you read stuff off the teleprompter better than anybody. So Thank I you. really, you really in Hollywood? That, that, you know? it, and you know what, you guys, Leanne is a really, really great actress. Check her out on IMDb. Aww. So uh, I, Jim and I have talked about this before and investing in something that doesn't exist it's it might not be the smartest thing in the world um ask kevin o'leary who was paid to talk about that uh, crypto company and big millions of dollars and then it was run by a charlatan so real estate never goes down to zero value unless there's a nuclear holocaust uh involved and you'll probably be dead at that point so i would say <laughs> Real estate is much, much better than crypto. Now you have a friend in the real estate business. Leanne, thank you for that question. I really appreciate it. I, I feel like I can sleep at night now that I have the answer to that question. And also now that I'm thinking about, I'm paranoid about a nuclear holocaust. So thank you for implanting that. <laughs> well, I'm wondering, you, you love the character Batgirl. What would happen yeah. if, uh, if there was a nuclear holocaust? What, what would Batgirl do? I feel like she's extremely smart. So she would go to brains before brawn. So I think that they'd be in the library researching um, and she would get the team to kind of like, okay, let's see if we can figure out a logical solution to this before we use force. Okay. And then then force, lots of force. And then lots, lots of punching. Yeah. What, yeah. Now that. what team is she on? She's DC. Oh, she's she's team Batman. What are you talking about? Justice League. I mean, like, yeah. Okay. But she's, I mean, but... She, Whereas Batman won't kill a person, Batgirl disagrees with that. Really? Oh my yeah. god! I haven't. That's canon. That is that is canon. She has a she's a little spicy. So really, okay. Yeah. I'm not saying that reflects my personality at all. I'm not saying that like I would do that, but but it pushed. Maybe I, you it know, pushed. it forced. I don't know. Given the right motivation, you never know what will happen. This exactly. is true. This you would be a great actor, Jim. I don't know, no, no. You have no, seriously. You have to if you judge your character, you shouldn't play them. If you, know, you can, I, yeah. I have been told that I have a face for radio. Absolutely. Mm. Um, that's a terrible thing for anyone to say. That's wrong. <laughs> uh, especially since everybody with on radio now does a podcast, so there's video cameras. So yeah, you have to look true. at them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So your more. entertainment days are over. Um, no more no Millie Vanilli. <laughs> my favorite group. Uh, yeah. So, but when you, what was the question? I can't remember. Oh, cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency. And, and what you're going to do is buy a big mansion and I want you to put it into a trust because what's going to happen is people are going to come after you and they're going to say, hey, I wrote that movie that you just made $10 million off of and they're going to try to attack you. Jim, how could you help Leanne from something like that happening? There are so many different ways that I can employ. Um, a lot of it deals with trust. Some of it deals with business entities. 
just depends on the the risk they were trying to protect from and you know there's no perfect answer for for every single person mm. it's not a one size fits all type of situation frankly and, but uh, if Leanne, once she makes the money in Hollywood, which I know she is, she's getting very close to an Oscar. I'm very proud of her. Um, she, you know, follow her on this thing called the internet and you'll see she's always acting and she's doing really, really good. But um, when you're ready, Leanne, uh, you're going to call Jim and he's going to protect you and your money. Um, and Jim, what is a, what does a consultation cost? Well, I couldn't protect Leanne unless she moved here to California. So oh. there's that little problem. Well, but, yeah, she will. She probably will. She'll move to Hollywood. She's going to have But Batgirl protects everybody. Yeah, yeah. Jim, <laughs> Batgirl doesn't have to worry about the State Bar Association. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's another exciting episode of Java with the Jims.